Hello everyone, and welcome back to another episode of Hearts of Iron 4 as the Bohemian Empire. Last time, we continued our push into the Soviet Union and actually captured one of the major cities, which would be Kiev, capital of now Ukraine, of, of uh, modern day Ukraine, and then Ukraine. We uh, are still at war with the Allies, as well as the Comintern. Um, so we're just going to continue, and hopefully, once we capitulate the Soviet Union, find a way into Norway, and then we'll get to the United Kingdom, and the United States appears to be going to join the war soon, so we'll have to deal with them as well. Let's continue with this at speed 5, and let's go, actually, maybe not speed 5, but for now, we will monitor this at speed 5, speed 4. And we'll we'll watch the developing situation here. Let's see here. We have a okay. We have more milit free military factories, which I am going to throw into our infantry equipment so we can continue upgrading. We need, we have political power, which I'm not going to spend yet. Uh, we have air wings with no wish missions. We have, we are insufficient resources, steel number, steel three. So let's get some more steel from Germany. And then resistance to occupation. And North Transylvania, that's okay. I don't really care. So you guys are all going to join this army and join this front. Let's see, political power. What do I want to do with political power? Probably could fill up my cabinet and fill this out a little bit and up my manpower law, but not yet. Let's see, Quartermaster General, Prince of Terror, Backroom Backstabber, Quartermaster General for now, and then we'll do the Prince of Terror or Backroom Backstabber, which will, this one gives us plus five political power, and plus five percent political power. And plus 15% ideology drift defense. This one, four and subversive acts, activity sufficiency, effective partisans on us, and non core manpower plus 2%. So I'm gonna do well. I think. Which one? Would, I don't know which one would be better at the moment. I'm gonna go. Prince of Terror. And then, let's see, still have political power so we can do our tank designer. And then our, we don't have navy so we don't need that. And I'm not really worried about aircraft. Definitely infantry. Electronics or industrial. Um, industrial. And then Let's do a military theorist. And that'll be it for now. Um, let's see. Research, research, research. This is 1941, and all of that is 1943. Let's see. 1941, let's get the newest improved centromet radar. And I actually have not been upgrading my radar, but I don't really need to because my rate, my country is surrounded by Germany. So for now, I'm pretty good. pushing pretty well 
we get slowed down sometimes and then sometimes we go what was I doing over here oh yeah Okay, so this requires Doctrine Discoveries and Doctrine Discoveries 2. So I might as well just keep on going with all of this. Mountain Troops, go on to Mountain Troops, and then we can go on to the other side. See, we're very close to Minsk, Minsk, actually. The fall of that city would give us another 20, 20 victory points to the capitulation of the Soviet Union. Which I don't really understand what we're doing down here. Let me pause for just a second and oh, stop it and redraw my lines, my front lines, or my offensive lines, I mean, redraw the offensive, let me, I probably can extend this front line up here pretty far actually, right there, and be able to actually cover it. But I may not want to cover that much. Probably bring it down to about half, about right here. And then let's do an offensive line for right there. And we'll push. So that gives us a clear place of where we want to go, and then it'll push us to achieve that. I am interested to see how Japan is doing in their war against China. They are really taking their time on this war. I, I don't really understand it. But, you know, okay. Oh well. I guess they'll figure it out. Eventually. Let's go see what the United States is doing. Embargo Germany, they're still doing that. Okay. Go look at the war thing. Soviet Union is 8% towards capitulation. You are 14. What is going on? Italy. What? And they've almost got Sicily. What well, you guys, you have all of these troops up here. You need to send more troops down. And I don't really have any to spare. I'm all focused on this war over here against the Soviet Union, trying to keep them from pushing on to me. Right here, there's the Soviet fleet. Uh, 
Uh, let's see. So we're, we're slowly pushing along, but it's not moving as fast as I want to. They had a little spot that they had taken in Norway, but it appears that they lost it for, you know, poor planning and whatever. What is the United Kingdom doing as for their focus? They're doing the Singapore strategy and they have Winston Churchill. Where is that? That's down here. Singapore strategy. Okay. Let's go pick another research. Um, we're still working on that nuclear research. Uh, let's go and look and see. Have I even done land doctrine? I have not. Oh, I I have. Why haven't I done that? I don't. I don't know why I haven't done that. Let's pick a. Let's pick a um, land doctrine. Actually, I'm one hundred percent. For 1942 weapons, so I'm just going to go ahead and do that for now. And then for the next one, we can get land doctrine going. And see, we're pushing down here. We are doing pretty good. You know, because Czechoslovakian troops are strong. Troops from the Bohemian Empire, they, they're very, very strong. I'd like to see the North get pushed a little more, but, you know, I guess they're having a very, a more difficult time up there. And they're kind of pushing them back out of Sicily. So... Sevastopol would be a very good, very good thing to get. I think they're actually pushing up this way. It's just that this river right here is kind of stopping them. And our next focus is done. So let's move on. <clears throat> move on over. And get support units. And I am on low manpower. Oh my. I need to up my manpower laws. Am I training anymore? No, I am not. Oh good. I need to up my manpower laws. So as soon or... I will not have enough. Oh. Turkey has joined the Axis. Actually, let me pause this. Uh, all adult serve is the next one. Limited construction is extensive encryption service by requirement. All adult serve, that's the next one. Sometimes I forget. But now we have more people. And the Axis is... 
larger. As you can see, the axis comprises most all of Europe. Pretty much all of Europe. Which is which is very good. Very, very good indeed. So with Turkey pushing down this way against the Soviets, they should have a bet we should be able to push more up here because they're having to divert troops down this one. If they're in this war, which I do not they are in this war. Turkey. Turkey just got called in, in in this war. So now they're at war with the Soviet Union and they might actually capitulate because they don't really appear to have any troops on their border with the Soviet Union. Poor planning on their part. If we could cut these troops off right here, then we would be able to get a pocket going. Or we can just, you know, push them completely. Oh, it looks like I had 100 on. Any of the, um, just one of them. All right. Let's go and do that land doctrine. And do we want mobile warfare, superior firepower, grand battle plan, mass assault? Probably want to do either one of these two. And I'm probably going to go this one, uh, grand battle doctrine. Assaulting, because we do a lot of assaults and we don't do a lot of firepower, so that's what we're going to go with. You know? And we also must go and do, to get rid of our outdated equipment, which would be the new infantry equipment, the SA-23BZ-48. There, now we have the newest infantry equipment of the time. And, of course, we need more steel. So German, Germany, give me more skill. And we are going to push them this way. It appears we're actually going to cut them off, right? Yep, we just cut them off, so now we have a pocket of German troops. And this, we have a pocket of Soviet troops. I keep wanting to say Germany. I don't know why. I guess I'm used to fighting Germany in other times I've played. Parts of Iron Four, and uh, but you know, we're fighting the Soviets. So. Turkey's doing their part and starting to fight down here. All right. Now we're pushing up here. Yes, they are. Okay, good. What I don't want to happen is for us to push down here and get here, and then all of a sudden I see this one start to go this way. And then just come back. That would be pretty pretty disastrous for us. And now let's go do our next research and let's do excavation. Let's see, do I wanna close off my economy and not export anything? I probably do. And that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to close off my economy. I'm not exporting anything. Because I don't have anything to export. 
then hopefully Germany doesn't close off their economy. They do limited exports. I just don't want to export anything because I don't have anything to really export. And I'm doing, I having to get a lot of steel from Germany in the first place, so. Let me pause this and go to resource map mode and see resource map mode and see I have some steel but not really any resources at all and Germany has a lot so that's the reason behind that decision let's see if Germany will actually go down here and take this right here Let's look at the Soviet stats. They're improving. The, no, the United States is supporting the Soviet Union through a lend lease. Good for them. Good for them. Uh, support units is done. Now it's time to do doctrine discoveries. Fifty, well, fifty percent towards research bonus for land doctrines. That'll be nice. Let me see how many troops have I lost in this war. In this war, I've lost six hundred seventy-seven thousand, and in this war, I've lost two hundred sixty-two thousand. And Germany's lost over three, four million, which actually isn't great. But, you know, Germany's got a lot of manpower that they can call on to help them fight. And we're able to reach our, our, uh, front, our uh, attack line pretty quickly. That's good. Oh, wow, we're actually pushing into Crimea right down here. Let's hope we can actually get in there and take that thing that that city controlling 20 victory points. Stalingrad is coming up. We can take this. This is worth 30 victory points. Very nice. And then there's the United States is justifying against, wait, wait, hold up. So they're justifying against me personally or Germany? They are, doesn't say, but they're probably justifying against Germany, which in, in itself says us. Oh, and we have finished atomic research, so let's see, it's 1942, beginning of 1942. I'm going to wait till 43 to do that, so let's go on ahead and get this. So it then soon we'll be at war with the United States of America, and... That should be fun. Really like to get this war with the Soviet Union over with so that we can focus more towards the West. But until that happens, we're going to continue fighting. And they've, can, they've actually succeeded in pushing them out of Sicily, which I'm very happy and surprised that they were able to do. 
it, it, it since it didn't look good at the beginning. We're being we're able to lock down Europe with help from some Turkish troops, which I don't know why they're sending them all over Europe when they should just be putting them on their front line with the Soviet Union to push up. But, you know, oh well. It's their army. They can pretty much do whatever they want. And it appears that we have stopped pushing into Crimea. But they have six troops. Oh, and never mind, they're pushing back in. And we have landed on Crime, the Crimean Peninsula. So hopefully, no, they're leaving. Why are they leaving? Why did they leave? They left. Well, okay, and and the AI wasn't smart enough to capture that back, so they're moving back in. Good. They really went and got some reinforcements to bring back. Okay, time to make a new front line. Or a new um, plateau plan. Let's leave this and let's actually put a front line out. And the Soviet Union annexes Tan Tanu Tuva, which I can't really pronounce, and I know that it's over here, it's somewhere in this area. Not very important. Push in the south is going way better than the push in the north. We're pushing farther towards Moscow. And our next focus is done. So let's do armor advancement and then motorization scheme and then on down to war college. Okay. I'm actually just just because I can. Let's see, what are, what are we doing here? All right. Just because I can, I'm going to construct land forts. All, oh, well, we already have land forts, but I'm going to upgrade them to the strongest capacity that they can be all the way around. around my land. Just in case like if the Soviet or if the if Germany were to collapse, I would be able to protect myself by having level ten forts all the way around Czechoslovakia, I mean the Bohemian Empire. Including the new land that I just picked up. Actually no, I'm not doing that. I'm canceling that. I'm canceling that. Like that. I'm only going to do it around my core territory, not territory that I've picked up. So, right on around here, keep it going. We already had like level 2, level 7 forts going up this way, but that was from like the beginning and the focus tree we did for the focus tree. So now we have forts going and that'll take us a while to construct, but it's well worth it to protect ourselves. In the event of a German collapse. 
in the event of a German collapse, we always want to be able to protect ourselves. I would pull all my troops back, surround, do a front line, all the like completely around here, and then just t hopefully defend until the last Czechoslovakian is dead. Probably. Yes, yeah, as our fascist selves, we like to do that. The United States stands against fascism. As the land of the free, the United States considers itself the natural enemy of fascism in all its forms across the world. With the aggression of the German regime, they are at, a, at a present the greatest enemy of a, of a world built on the liberal principles of the United States. The United States adheres to. With this in mind, and the approval of the American Congress, Franklin Delano Roosevelt has issued a warning to the German Reich. Unless the German Reich reverses their political course, the United States will take action against them. While no, no course of action was specified, the implied threat of war lies heavy between the two countries. Kinda late for that. We're about, we're close to Moscow. All of Europe is ours. And no, they will have to prove their words with steel. Of course. We will not back down. And they declared war because we're not backing down. We're not, we're not backing down. I don't want to be at war with the United States. Sure. Why not? We're now at war with America. Or not. Uh, no, not. Who am I at war with? All the people I'm at war with. It doesn't actually say up there, but I know I'm probably at war. Right. Lag. And they cut off five German divisions. Just take this port. Just walk over and take the port. You should do that. That's what you should do. And it appears you're trying to do that, but not really. And it's failing pretty bad, and you're gone. And you're gone. Okay, just wonderful. So they couldn't take Sevastopol on the first try, but... They're going to try and try again. At first you don't succeed, try, try again, as uh, they say. Come on, Germany. Beat them. Do it. Incompetent allies. So frustrating. All the time. And now there's an allied invasion of France that's not really well defended against, that they've been waiting for forever. Probably, they've probably been amassing troops to come do this.
Oh, man. And I thought we were actually doing pretty well. Well, I'm going to have to leave that this episode here with with uh ally invasion of France coming. We will see how much longer this series this uh, campaign will last if the Germans and the rest of the Axis can't hold them off. Uh, we're going to continue our push into the Soviet Union, hopefully getting to them to capitulate so I can bring my troops back over to help them in Western Europe. Uh, we'll see how this goes, but for now, um, if you liked what you see in this episode, don't forget to leave a like. Uh, any comments that you'd like to see for the rest of this series or uh, suggestions, comments section below. Uh, if you are new to the channel and you haven't subscribed yet, don't forget to subscribe. Uh, as always, I hope you've enjoyed this episode of Hearts of Iron 4 as the Bohemian Empire, and I will see you all next time. Bye.